What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and we are back on the moon and this is uh, one of J.P. Skipper's uh, articles that he had done a while back that I thought was a great article. Um, it, it looked like it showed some evidence of water or a liquid, a uh, very thick liquid type uh, substance here on the Apollo. It was the Apollo 15 mission. Um, this was on the underside of a rock here and let me show you what... I've got three pictures up here that show the stuff in question. Sorry, I don't want to make you sick there. My little mouse pad thing was uh, my track pad just gets funky sometimes. Now, this is uh, this rock here. The astronauts came along, and it was sitting right there, and they basically flipped it up onto its side. And when they flipped it up onto its side, it showed some of this stuff. Now, J.P. Skipper did a great job here talking about it. If, uh, I'll have his link, the link to his website will be here. I haven't done any of his stuff in a while. And uh, like I said, he's still putting stuff out. Great guy. A lot of people, you know, check it out. This is what they called it. Um, basically, the astronauts in a debriefing later came back and called it bracia. I guess that's how you would say that. It's an Italian word for loose gravel. Um, in a stone made by a cementing process. They have a number of different origins. Now, he also put a piece here from Earth, and to be honest with you, it looks nothing like it. On Earth, they found that it's in more like a chipped forms and stuff like that, not in this perfectly rounded off size. So let's go back and check this out and see what else we can come of these because there's also some interesting pieces on this. And uh, as always, I'll have the link to the, I'll have the link to this page all the pages for the pictures as well. Just in the description, all you have to do is go to the description of the video and you'll find it. Um, so this was one of the up close pictures. Let's take one of these back pictures here. Okay, these were the two up close pictures and this is the one from the uh, experiment itself. So basically full color picture. So I mean, so you can see that this is in full color right here. Now, the, the 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 common known like what we're, we're to believe is there's not a lot of water on Mars. There's not I'm not on the moon. I'm saying I mean, I'm so used to doing Mars videos. And uh, th thank you guys. I'm back from Firefly Plus. Had a great time. Even wearing my shirt today to commemorate the event. I didn't scream as much, so I actually have a voice this time. And uh, before I go back to work, I'm gonna try and make a couple videos. But um, I'm contending that there is water and liquid on the moon a lot more than we've been told. And uh, also there's plant life, and I'm going to show you that in some of the other ones. There's some very, uh, con people have gone over these a lot. This is nothing I'm finding, you know what I mean? These are just things that have been there forever. Now, here seems to be the roots of something. See this down here? To me, this looks like a root that's uh, either that or some sort of wire. But if you look here, it's actually in the air. You can see the, uh, look at the shadow of these things right here on it. It comes up, it's got that little piece there. It looks like any root here um, on Earth that you could find. And this is under where this rock was sitting. Well, this is actually right to the side of it, to where it was sitting, right there. Uh, so I thought that was kind of interesting. You know, you don't get that in the uh, in these close-ups. You don't get to see that root. Um, so, also, it looks like it was dripping some as well. So we're going to take a look at that. And I was looking see... I really want to make sure to make this couldn't be any a footprint or part of it or something like that. And it doesn't. This looks like some sort of root that's uh, in there. You know, just a white root. But, all right. Now let's take a look at the backside of this rock from here. It's a lot, you can see it. This is a lot smaller here. You can see, but look at how it's got the, uh, how shiny it is. I mean, first off, that's right off the bat. It, we're in the sun, you know, so the astronauts are out in the sun. But the shininess of it is really just what screams liquid to me. And now there's some interesting spots here because it looks like it's dripped a little bit or changed. You know, the I'm going to show you real fast because I'm going to paste and copy this. But we're going to take these two and uh, hopefully we can set them side by side. How about we can try that? All right, we've got this one here and we've got this one. Let's see if that will actually work. Okay. All right. And these are basically, let's see, we've got these side by side now. Okay. Now, this down here where you've got this real shine, look at this down here, like where it's kind of cut out. Like it was almost in a cove. Like if you flipped it back over, there's an indent there. And, uh, okay, look at the pattern on this one. 
you get from the shininess and then we're going to pull this one up too and i'm hoping this works real well and we can already see it if you're watching of course the camera's changed just a little bit but this photo was taken directly after it so not all that much and uh if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, and also what J.P. Skipper pointed out, that the patterns are a little bit different here. You see, uh, it's not as much, there's not, look at the, and first of all, look at the colors of this. The uh, There's not this piece down here. You can still kind of see it there, but it's not as bright, um, leading me to think that it's, it's a liquid. There's some sort of liquid, and it's either dripping or it's morphed a little bit. Up here, you can kind of see that this has a little more of a piece to it. It was interesting enough to me, and, and let's see, where's the other bright piece? Okay, there's not this big, huge, bright piece up here, which is almost seems like it's dripped down to here in this picture. Okay, see how bright this is up here? Bam, bam, bam. All right, so this is missing, so it'll be bam, bam, bam. And then these are all kind of clustered up in the same. But uh, this one right here, there's nothing there in that next picture. So did it actually drip down? You know, I'm not sure. You guys tell me. I'm just sitting here thinking this is a... I mean, you can see that the picture is not too far off. Because look at the... You can even see the sun here. Look how perfect it matches. And let's back up a little bit more here. And as we back up, we'll probably see... Uh, even here, you can tell here and here match really well. So the camera hasn't moved that much. But something's moved. This has moved from there to there. You know, these... Uh, that was a good catch. I wouldn't even have looked at that probably. But let's really take a good look at this stuff, whatever it is here. Look how it seems to be, it almost looks like mercury or something along those lines. Uh, like if you had mercury here, how it kind of bubbles, like it bubbles up and it pulls to it, you know, pulls to it, it kind of makes that real round ball um, a really neat substance. Yeah, I don't, I don't expect to get play with it, but <laughs> it's hard to actually get a hold of it now apparently. Um, but back in school, we used to do, you know, awful lot of tests. We used to be able to play with it and, and use it. And it was interesting how it worked. And this does seem to kind of look like that. Um, but I'm not sure. But it sure does look like it's it's liquid to me. I don't think it's part of a rock. It looks way too clean, way too shiny. Um, I don't know, though. And it, down here on the bottom, you really can't tell because where it was sitting. And this seems to be more roots or something right here. Let's see if we can't pull this out with some uh, with some brightening. Because look right here. This kind of does seem to be more roots. Let me see. Image adjust. Uh, auto color. Image adjust. Oops. Cancel that. Image. Um, auto tone. Let me do that. All right. I was hoping I'd get away with just uh, being able to auto it. But that's not going to work. So we're going to image. Brightness. Give it some brightness. And once again, let's see the contrast. You seem to have another what seems to be like a root. Now, like there's other pictures. If you stay tuned for my, I'm going to have a lot of more moon videos coming out because I've, I'm, a lot of people are doing the Mars stuff now. And honestly, we could do the Mars stuff till we're blue in the face. There's so much stuff there. And uh, I will get back to them, but I need to catch up on some of these other neat things like Phobos. Uh, you know, there's just so Saturn. There's a lot of things out there going on uh, that deserve to be looked at. But this is one I thought JP Skipper was right on. And, and I can't tell any different. I mean, what would you guys think? Do you think it looks like water? I mean, there's. it's amazing how my subscribers have so much uh, a wealth of information that they've learned over the years. And they can like, oh, no, I've used that. That's this substance or that substance. So let's see if there's anything else. I'm just kind of doing, remember those uh, what's different pictures back when you were younger? Hey, you might even still do them now. They have them in the newspapers and stuff like that. I'm just trying to see if there's anything that stands out. Um, and that's why all this stuff seems to not move that much. That's why I think down in here, where it's kind of clustered together, it looks like that piece has dripped down some, which tells me it is a, a liquid. And although it may, you know, not be, it may be a slushy liquid and it's holding on to it. But let's see here. And that's about, like I said, I don't see too much, you know, other than that, but... This over here does seem to look like a little bit of a root system here. You can see it again on this one. It's still kind of dark, but um, where'd you go? 
here. And I may be wrong on that, but if we go back to the other one, it does sure, sure does seem to be. Let me see. Don't save. Pull this up. Take a look at that again. Down here, it sure does. Let me go ahead and just brighten this on up with the contrast. I'm going to let you guys go. See, I'm back from the fest. Oh, Barry did. He, he went ahead and he uh, got the rover. So he's going to be getting that mail to him this week. I told him I'd mail it. I'm back. I'm alive. Made it back in one piece. I got some good video. There were some chemtrails there, man. I'm going to put that video up here soon. It was like a Kemba. It was pretty crazy how it turned out. But that definitely looks like a root to something to me, or, or maybe even possibly something alive, like a little snake that was hiding under there or coming up to it. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. I see what I see. You see what you see. This is What's Up in the Sky 37. You know how it goes here. Check out the website, www.whatsupinthesky.com. More and more people are using the forums there. Very excited to see that. Um, anything else I missed in this picture, guys? Check out J.P. Skipper's website, Mars Anomalies. Re Mar Mars Anomaly Research Demand has done a lot. He's he's one of the first people that really turned me into, you know, maybe I should make a website. Maybe I should get videos out. Maybe I should do something. So he was one of the first people that inspired me to do this. Him and Mike Singh from, I uh, used to be over at ATS. Um, and just you got everybody, you know, once I started putting this stuff up and people started watching it, I couldn't believe it. So much love guys. Have a wonderful, I hope you had a good weekend. It's Monday night now. Peace. What is going on on the moon, man? Something's weird up there.